Welcome to this in-flight tutorial. Here I will show you how to work as a pilot with in-flights. It is very important to fill all your details to appear in our system as a pilot. First thing you do is to sign up to our platform. Just go to inflights.com. Now click join as pilot. Fill in your details. Please notice that the phone number should look like this, especially the country code. Click register. Here you can see what needs to be done to complete your account. First thing you do is to add your equipment to the profile. We need this information to assign jobs to you. Click on add equipment button or equipment tab on the left. Now use the drop down menu to search for equipment that you have. In this example I select DJI Phantom 4 RTK. This is our preferred drone to work with. You will get the most jobs from us if you have this drone. Now set your full day rate for this drone. This means how much money you will get per 8 hours of work using this equipment. Add another drone that you have. Let's say that I have the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. We usually use this drone for a simple aerial photos only. Add a day rate. Now for more advanced solution, let's say that I have a SenseFly EBX drone with PPK. I select it from the list and add it to my profile. Add a day rate. Now I want to add two cameras that I have for this drone. One is Soda 3D. I use the same day rate for the camera as for the drone. Keep in mind that the drone rate and payload rate do not combine. For the second camera I will enter this one. Always list all your available equipment. This way you will have a better chance to get more jobs. It is very important to add a GNSS receiver if you have one. We often require our pilots to measure ground control points. Notice that here there is also a full day rate. This means how much money you will get for a full day of measuring points. You can edit the day rates anytime you want with the edit rate button. Here you can enter the RTK network correction provider information. Another important thing is to set your location so we can assign nearby jobs to you. Just type the address and select it from the list. Use the map to check if the location is correct. After this is done, we can edit the minimum non-compensated driving distance. This means that you will get compensated for driving to location farther than the set value here. Here we can also edit the compensation rate per kilometer. Now let's look at the permit compensation. Click on airspace tab. Here you can add countries that you are allowed to fly in and the amount of money that you want to be paid for getting the permit. In this example I will click on Belgium and add it to the list. Here I can see some airspaces and rates for getting a permit. You can edit it or leave it at default. It will automatically set the rate based on other pilots rates. I will quickly show you how you can edit the rate for a permit if you think that this should be different. I edit the rate and click the Save Airspace button.
to extend your range of operations at other countries. In this example, I will also select the Netherlands. Done! Now you will appear in our pilot matcher system and receive jobs when one is nearby. Now we wait for a job to be available near your location. You will get an email like this when the job is available. After you get an email, log in into our web app. Here you can see available jobs that were assigned to you. Click Review Proposal. This is just a proposal, you can accept or decline it. This is the proposal page, here you can see the job description and price proposed to you. Here you can find the map with the area of interest marked. You can download the KML here and use it to plan the flight mission. Keep in mind that flight missions must be a bit larger than that. Our reference flight number, location, deadline, required equipment, size of the project and proposed price. Here you can find the flight plan information. All deliverables that we requested from you are listed here. We always require unprocessed pictures from the area of flight. For RTK and PPK drones, they must be precisely georeferenced in EXIF data. Most jobs require ground control points. Here you will find their amount and later the coordinate reference system to be used. In the flight instructions, there is info to add 30 meter margin around this KML area. You can expand the flight instructions by clicking this button. There also is a complete tutorial on how to properly set the GCPs. Be sure to watch it at least once. Ok, let's accept the mission. If everything is clear and you agree to the price, then click the accept button. Now you should wait to get an email that InFlights accepted your price. Do not fly it before that. After the client accepts the job, you will need to schedule the flight. Notice that the client indicated that you need to coordinate this flight with a contact person. You can also see that the coordinate reference system for this flight has been assigned by our team. Please use the specific coordinate reference system for measuring GCPs for this project. Click the schedule button on the top bar and select the first available date when you can perform the flight. Next, select the backup date. If something goes wrong, you can reschedule the flight using the reschedule button. If you have any questions, use the intercom button on the bottom right of this page. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Now go to the job site, set and measure the GCPs and fly the mission. Once the drone has landed, click the drone landed button. Now upload your data to the platform. Click on the Upload button. Next, select the file with ground control point coordinates. Make sure that it is in TXT or CSV format. To upload images, you need to zip them. There is free software called 7-Zip that you can use. Just select the folder with the images and right-click on it. And select Add to Archive. Do not upload images one by one. You can split the zip file into several parts and upload it from multiple tabs. You should also upload the GNSS measurement report with estimate accuracies for each point. After uploading, go to Home tab. You will get an email once the in-flight's processing team has pressed the button completed. That email contains all the details to make the invoice. You will receive the payment 30 days after the invoice is sent. That's it for this video, see you in the next one.